from the bush and we're back in town. Well, the dog's on the back and the foot goes down. We're like members of the Outback Club. Where the boys from the bush come in from the scrub. Loading the trucks, fixing fences, we've been choking on dust. We curse the rain. The Australian sheep industry always looking for innovation, is now heading for an exciting new era using technologies well beyond our forefathers' imagination. Operating under the title Precision Sheep Management, it has capitalised on the potential of electronic tags to individually identify large numbers of animals faster, more accurately and with less labour than ever before. Sheep CRC research identified significant variation within merino flocks where the wool value per sheep ranged from over $82 for the top 25% of the flock to below $40 for the bottom 25%. The situation for meat value is similar. Now for the good and bad performers there is nowhere to hide. For a mature industry uh, like the sheep industry, we've, we've got some marvellous technology that's developed in the last you know, 20 years. You know, things like you know, scanning for reproduction rate, on-farm fibre measurement of very difficult to measure things like fleece weight and fibre diameter. At Tullamore, managing the Centre Plus stud, there is the best combination for the future. A young, technically smart son working with a wise and experienced father. Mark came home from uni determined to make the future different. He started off with automated sheep weighing, where saving in labour pays for the new equipment within three years. One of the first areas we found where we were using it was with body weighing. In the past we used to use three labour units and we'd body weigh at about 180 sheep an hour to keep our accuracies. With the new system, we were able to do that at about 250 sheep an hour. Bookwork's disappeared. We don't use pens and paper anymore at all. So the moment we've finished body weighing, the data is in our main database and uh, ready for analysis. Clyde Agriculture, one of Australia's largest sheep operations, is making further gains by using the sheep's natural behaviour so that they weigh themselves automatically as they walk to water. We're moving into a lot of walkover weighing systems at the moment where we can monitor our animals in the paddock without having to bring them to the yards. Um, we'll know what weights and, and what gains and what losses they're making uh, without having to bring that animal through the set of yards. Uh, that's cut down two or three men, bring them to the yards, physically weigh them, cuts down the loss of uh, productivity for that animal as well. Precision management also simplifies collection of wool data. A reader collects the sheep's identity from the ear tag prints a barcode that goes with the fleece to the weighing table where it is weighed, classed and entered into the database for future processing. So how is the sheep industry going to be different in the future? There's going to be a, an awful lot of uh, more measurement of individual animals. Yeah. For example, you know, a wool producer in the past could almost get away with the total record keeping being the annual uh, invoice uh, or statement of, uh, of what the sales record was on his wall. But now, you know, the ability to actually record individual animals and then to make drafting decisions of which, about which animals be mated with which, which, which animals I will put on which pastures and so on. Uh, you know, it sounds like a frightening amount of paperwork, but it's not because of computers. Along the way, the Mortimer family discovered even more benefits by automating the recording of pedigree to improve genetic gain by 16%. We could track uh, ewes and lambs into water by uh, recording the order that they come in and then work out a pedigree and work out which ewes own which lambs. And then we're able to accurately identify up to 95% of the lambs to their mother just by recording the order that they come into water. As expected, those with the most to gain are the first to get on board. Notable participants include both studs and commercial producers. Haddon Rigg, Ejilabra, the Dooney Association, Uaudry and Clyde Agriculture, all of whom need to make serious business decisions to maximise profitability. Into the future, I see these technologies becoming mainstream because people will really be of the mindset, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. 
There's a saying that two things attract farmers to a new technology and it's saving time, saving money and there's absolutely no doubt that precision livestock production answers both those questions very well. So Robert, would you ever go back? No way back. I'd rather retire. <laughs> Fences, we've been choking on.